नमस्ते वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग वेरियस इवेंट्स असोसिएटेड विद द सन अर्थ एंड मून विद द हेल्प ऑफ मॉडल्स लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट सोलर डे एंड साइडेरियल डे इन एस्ट्रोनॉमी द टर्म साइडेरियल रेफर्स टू द मेजरमेंट्स मेड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द डिस्टंट सो कॉल्ड फिक्स स्टार्स द स्टार्स आर सो फार अवे that apparent positions are largely unaffected by the earth's movement in its orbit making them a consistent backdrop for astronomical observations this is in contrast to the measurements that use the sun as a reference point we explored the concept of meridian in an earlier video local meridian is an imaginary line in the sky that runs from due north through your zenith that is the point directly overhead to due south we will replace this setup with another one as you know earth rotates around itself as it revolves around the sun let us introduce this dial in between so that we can measure the amount by which earth has moved forward in its orbit this pin will act as a marker for location on earth when the marker aligns with the line on the dial solar noon occurs at that location on earth will remove this gear for now let us assume that earth is steady at one place let us replace the sun with our mobile phone its flash will act as a source of light this is noon when the sun is at the local meridian we will rotate the earth by hand for now at this point sun is about to set it's evening time here it's next day morning and sunrise time and again on the local meridian next day Earth has completed one rotation around itself that is 360 degrees during this moment. This time is called sidereal day and is around 23 hours and 56 minutes. Though for this explanation we considered sun as a reference point it is not the case in real life when it comes to sidereal day definition. It is always a distant star. You will know why in a minute. Let us put the gear back. This will also enable another movement movement of earth around the sun along its orbit This green line represents position at local meridian on day 1 As earth revolves it completes one rotation at this point marked by the yellow line at this point sidereal day is over that is 360 degree rotation completed with respect to a distant star but it is slightly away from the point where noon happens let us take it slightly forward now it is noon time earth has moved approximately 1 degree during this period in its orbit earth needs to rotate a little extra to reach the same spot with respect to the sun this time is called solar day that is 24 hours for clarity sake this angle right now is 5 degrees but in reality it is close to 1 degree per day we define one solar day as a time or takes to reach to the same position with respect to the sun that is local meridian on day 1 to the local meridian again on day 2 for our activity we considered local meridian as a reference point but it can be any other point 
as long as reference is the sun. The 24 hour solar day we saw earlier was the mean solar day. This is different than the actual solar day. The difference is that a solar day or appearance solar day is the time it takes for the sun to appear in the same position in the sky. This duration varies slightly throughout the year. A mean solar day is the average length of all solar days in a year, which is a uniform 24 hours and the basis for our standard clocks. The variation in the apparent solar day is due to the Earth's elliptical orbit and the tilt of its axis. We can find out this with the help of a script. I took help of Stellarium Remote API and found out how much Earth moves each day. Sometimes it is less than a degree and sometimes it is more than a degree on its path along the ecliptic. Let us look at how stars appear to move in the sky at night. Star Canopus is at the local meridian and time is 12 pm. After 23 hours and 56 minutes approximately, it will be again on the local meridian. This is true with any other star as well. This is the time Earth takes to complete one rotation around itself with respect to a distant star. All stars rise approximately 4 minutes earlier every day. This is the reason why we see different stars in the sky at different times of the year. Now that we have discussed sidereal and solar day, it's time for recap as well as activities and fieldwork. Work with your team on the same. Thank you.